Good evening and God bless. My name is Warren Harris and I am here to briefly discuss Reverend Dr. Catherine Weathers' new book, Breaking the Cycle of Generational Curse from a Nurse's Spiritual and Psychological Journey. What inspired you to write this book? Thank you. Warren? Yes. I wrote the book after attending nursing school and working as a psychiatric nurse for nearly 32 years. I was inspired by the naming of my nephew Taboo, which we all should know that the name Taboo means curse. His name made me do some soul searching about events in my family's background and as a child growing up, which led me to the realization that history repeats from generation to generation, almost like what the Chinese call karma. And yet, instead of dying, your children are passed on a legacy of negative situations that have not been properly or spiritually managed. After careful research, I found out that spirit, spiritual warfare is real. And that's why we're wearing our military uniforms on today. Amen. For example, poverty, mental illness, and incest. These spiritual entities must be removed. Are there such a thing as curses? Well, the scriptures, the Holy Bible, revealed the first curse was placed on the serpent, the second on the woman, and her seed. And her seed is all of humanity. We have come from the woman Eve. And the third on the ground where men would have to toil in order to put food on his family's table. And today, you and I know, we're having problems with employment in America and men feeding their children. Where do curses come from? In the New Testament, I found that Jesus came to remove the curses that God placed on humanity. So, if you ask me where do curses come from, God originally placed curses on man and women for being disobedient to him. And it started with the serpent, the woman, and the earth in the Old Testament. How do you remove a curse? Again, in the New Testament, Jesus Christ was sent by God to remove the curses that God placed on humanity. Yet I found places in scripture that men also have placed curses on their offspring, their children, which is validated because God gave man dominion over the earth, allowing him to name things just by Naming animals and situations, that's how curses are placed on things in our environment. And a lot of people don't understand that. Noah cursed his son Ham. And Jacob cursed his two sons, Simeon and Levi. All people from all races and cultures have been under a curse of being enslaved at one time or another. So, yes, the curse is real. And we need to remove the curse. Thank you, Dr. Weathers. Would you like to add anything else? I want to just thank you for having me on your show here and interviewing me. Ms. Harris. Thank you very much, Dr. Weathers. 
I appreciate your insight, and I wish you the very best luck with your new book. And I certainly hope it's a bestseller.